Not so much to launch uh, the ambulance because the ambulance have been there uh, for more than five years. But uh, I know people have been asking where our ambulance. <laughs> we had a small inch. We had about three issues that had stopped the ambulance in our county. One is the pending bills. We had a, a huge pending bills that was not paid. Number two, we also had uh, management issues. That uh, the way the, the way we are managing our, our ambulance was not right. And uh, number three is actually the issue of um, uh, the number. Uh, the number was big. Uh, there were 11, and now we have reduced to six. Um, why are we doing this? First of all, we have sorted out the issue of the, um, uh, the pending bills. We have paid uh, the total amount, uh, which was about 79 million shillings. Number two, we have reduced the number because as a county government, since I came in, we have improved a lot of the health services in our smallest unit of administration. That is the dispensaries and the health, uh, and the health centers. And then the level four hospital, now we are operationalizing. So we have, uh, from the advice that I'm getting from um, the uh, health practitioners, is that we only need six. Why six? We have six main um, um, sub-counties in our county. And so we have dispatched uh, one to every sub-county level four hospital. Meaning that if anybody needs uh, the services of the ambulance, you have to get uh, clearance from, from the MOH. The MOH is the one who clears that we need uh, an ambulance because of uh, some emergency. For a long time, these ambulances have been misused. And misusing the ambulance, it means that the county government will pay more money. We also realized that the agreement had expired. So we could not work with a, an, an agreement that had expired. So we have now renewed the, 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 the agreement. And uh, we have sat down with the providers. And we have all agreed that the best way to manage this ambulance is, is going to be managed by the level 4 hospital in our county. And then also one here in the referral hospital. So this issue of ambulance, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I know people have been calling me. They have been asking about uh, the ambulance services. But nevertheless, I had to sort out this whole mess. And I'm happy to announce to Narukians today that I have indeed uh, you know, finished up the problems that we had. And now we have the ambulance um, services. But be warned, you will not call directly the way you used to call uh, just for an ambulance service. No. Now, because we have improved tremendously uh, our services in, uh, in our dispensaries, in our health centers, and as you have heard from uh, uh, Waziri, we have built so many of these dispensaries in our wards, so we should have no problem. So should you need an ambulance services, you might need to refer yourself to the level four hospital, and then the, the MOH will clear, and, they will, and then we'll pick that person. And then also one more thing that we have done as a county government. We are not going to refer people directly from the wards to Narok, unless it's a very serious issue, and it has to be cleared by the MOH. And therefore, it means that if there is an issue of urgency, then it must be first and foremost, must be referred to the level four hospital. And then the level four hospital will now clear to the referral hospital. And then from the referral hospital to wherever, if it is in Nairobi or uh, Eldoret, because there were, there, was, there were some issues that we felt that there was a problem, that somebody can just call an ambulance from a village and then that person wants services to be taken to Nairobi or to Eldoret. Who told you that you are supposed to go to Eldoret? We think that our people should not go to any other county. They must be referred to our county first and then we'll see whether we need further uh, treatment. Otherwise, I'm happy you have seen the six of these uh, ambulances. They are going to the various, uh, uh, you know, uh, sub-counties. And I think uh, for us, personally, I'm happy with the services that um, our health uh, workers are doing. They are doing a tremendous job. You can see in the district, the district, I mean, the referral hospital is full. And I want to, uh, to, to, to uh, promise the people of Narok County, as I said the first day that I was elected, that the services of health 
it's very important for me and for us. We've actually witnessed uh, mega uh, developments in the county. As we've always been telling the public, uh, for the last uh, financial year and the first uh, financial year when the governor, be, when Patrick Ndutu became the governor, we've been able to build 76 new health facilities in the county. Again, what the governor is doing, uh, we, are at, we are trying our level best to make sure that by next year, all our level four facilities will be functional and operational. So for the people, we will not have, we will not need to refer patients outside our county. And that was the, that was the aim of the governor since the beginning. We are completing our new referral hospital here, which will be a level five. And uh, as we speak right now, our focus is to equip all level four hospitals and the and the mega level five hospital, so that the services that are offered here in the referral hospital will be available in all level four hospitals. So what we are doing today, actually we had an inch with our ambulatory services and uh, we've come in terms with the supplier or the person who was leasing the ambulances, that is a Red Cross, and we've agreed on management of the ambulances which will, which will entirely be run by the county government. We've also, uh, to avoid the loss of public resources, some of the, of the reasons that we had that we think that uh, we can save that money for doing other things in the public, We've actually come in terms that six ambulances are enough to run our ambulatory services in this sub-county. So the six ambulances that you are seeing today here will be, will be dispatched to every sub-county. One will be dispatched to Lorgorian, which, which is Transmara South sub-county. One to Transmara West, that is Kilgoris Hospital. One to Emuru Adikir, that is Transmara East. And one to Lolunga, which will serve the two sub-counties, that is West and uh, South and one here in Narok County Referral Hospital, which will serve the, the Narok North sub-county, that is the central and north. And we'll also have another one stationed at Nairegi Ankare to serve a Narok East sub-county. Again, what we have agreed going forward, it is our med soup, the medical superintendents in charge of those hospitals that are going to manage these fleets. So if, we, if there is a need for an ambulance, in, for instance, in Narok East, the person who will dispatch the ambulance is Dr. Saidu, who is the, who is the med soup of uh, Nairagi Ankara Level 4 Hospital. And I think if we are able to do that, we'll, we'll be able to run this service uh, smoothly. Olakira TV, Ewangan, Olusholema.